Hi, this is Meet from Meta Tools, and this is the operating video of the Laser Marker M7. If you haven't seen already, please see our setup video first. That is step number one. Uh, it has done by Chandan, my colleague, and we are attaching the link here. So please first see that video. Once you have set up the machine, you can come back here, and now we'll see how the machine operates. Now, if you open the app, you get four options: the album, the album, camera create wherein you type something and clip art let's finish the album first album is a section where you can print any photograph or any logo which is already in your phone's gallery right now we will just go with a logo that we have of our client you just select the photo that you want to print in this case the logo i will just press done now the file just gets transferred here now if you see the background is black and the logo is white we want it the other way so i simply have to press the invert button in the bottom also if you now see the logo is not very sharp so what i will do is there is a slider bar given in the bottom just slowly keep moving it towards the left and you will see that your logo gets darker and darker and it auto corrects itself so it kind of works like magic now you will just press next once you have the desired resolution let's say i don't want the other fonts or content written around it i just want the logo so like a normal instagram or any photo editing app you will just select the crop option and crop the logo that's it crop it to your best extent done now if you see i forgot to crop the font above it, there is some things on the uh, picture that I crop that I want to erase. So just use the erase option and simply erase it out. It's this easy to use. Once you have the logo, just press next. Now here my machine is already connected. Had it not been connected, just to show you a demo, I will disconnect it now. I will uh, just have to press the four dots here to the top right corner. Once I tap it, I will see the machine here. Just tap it. You will hear a beep and you will see the blue light getting stable. This means that the machine is now connected. Now you should always auto crop it. Auto crop means it will put it in its proper frame, edge to edge for you to mark. So you perfectly know the dimensions when you are marking. Second, in most of the machines out in the market today, you have only 1K resolution. Whereas in this machine, you get up to 4K resolution. So you get those options in the bottom. 1K, 2K, 4K. Always try to go for 4K because why not? Your machine is capable of doing that, might as well do it. Now you have the option to enter the dimensions, the width or the height. You either enter the width or the height the other will be automatically uh, fit in by the app so let's say i enter now i want to mark it on this plate here so i have a lot of space let me enter 8 mm so as you can see i enter the width 8 mm and the height got adjusted and input automatically now in the bottom you see name which is the file name if at all you are going to use this logo again and again only then you enter some particular file name else it's fine the next step is preview. When you press the preview, it asks you if you are wearing safety glasses. They come with the machine and it is always recommended to wear them if you are going to look at the laser beam because on a continuous basis, might as well be safe. You can just then press yes and you will see the preview option. Now if you closely see here, you can see two red dots on the uh, falling here on the bottom. These red dots are nothing but your focus points. These two red dots need to merge into one in order for you to get the perfect focus area where your machine is going to be marking. In order to do that, there are two buttons given on top of the slider right here. I just have to press the one which will take the machine lower or higher. Now I am just, I long pressed it, machine is automatically going lower. I will keep going lower till my two red dots are merged into one and then press the opposite button. Now if you see, both my red dots are clearly merged into one. Once this is done, it means your focus point has been achieved. 
The next step now is to see the marking area. For that you simply take off the protective cover on your lens and now you can exactly see a box being marked. This is your marking area. This is exactly where your image is going to be marked. So make sure that it falls in a space where there is no previous marking and then you are good to go. Just press quit preview in the app as you can see here. Press next. Now you see the light has turned yellowish orange. It means that your file is being transferred from the phone to your device. Once it turns blue, it is ready to mark. Now it's ready to mark. First option here is the materials. When you are marking on metals, you always go for custom. If you want to mark on any other material, you already have a preset setting done there. But we are mainly focusing on metals, so we'll do custom. In metals, the next option is power. Now for metals, you can select anywhere between 80% power to 100% power. You can even go lower sometimes, but those are rare cases. So let's just stick to 90% power here in this example. The depth can be anywhere between 30% to 100%. Depth clearly means how deep the engraving will be. In this case, let me just stick to a 50%. Pass is the next option. Pass means how many times do you want to mark the particular file. I don't think you need anything more than one time, maximum two times if you want to go really dark and deep. So we'll just stick to one here. Once you are set, you can just start. It will confirm that your products are and everything is into place or not. If you don't press anything, you will get five seconds. And then it will just say that please verify everything is safe and secure you are wearing protective glasses you just press a yes and the machine will simply start marking now if you see there is a small white beam of light that you see that is nothing but proof that your marking is being done let's say while marking if you do not see this white beam it means that your focus area is incorrect you can change the focus area while it is marking using these buttons above do not move the marking plate or the marking object just adjust the focus from here and then you can remark it if at all you missed out on focus in the first attempt that is it also in the app you can clearly see that what power are you using what resolution what depth and how much percentage is the job done so you come to know what is exactly going on also, it is not really um, unsafe for you if at all somebody happens to put his hand inside while marking. Obviously, this is not recommended, but if at all that is supposed to happen, you do not panic because it won't have any effect on your skin. Uh, this is how we are done with the album mode. And now we will next move on to the camera mode. We will show a small snapshot of the logo that was there here and that has been printed immediately after we are done. Okay, so the logo has been printed and this is how the result looks like. We are going to take a zoom in, zoomed in picture for you to have a better look at it. But this was the logo and this is how sharp it has printed. Now moving back, let's move to if I wanted to repeat the logo, I could just press the repeat button here, but I don't want to. So now I will just press back. Now let's go for camera mode. For the camera mode, I will require something special. Let's grab a piece of paper and a pen. Now you must be wondering what am I doing? So in the camera mode, you can literally click a picture of anything and print it on your jewelry or any product that you are printing using this for. Let's say for example, your client walks in, he wants to write his name or his fiance's name or some anniversary date or anything in his own handwriting you can just provide him with a pen and a piece of paper so here now i'm just writing hello please don't judge me on my handwriting this is just for demo purposes now i've written hello here i'm using my camera phone just clicking a good picture of it just make sure your alignment is good. So don't just randomly click it in any way possible. You can turn on the flash also if at all you like. And then just click a picture. Once you have clicked a picture, you simply have to press use photo. 
once you press use photo the app will automatically put it inside the uh, inside its file format whichever it is now same te technique again just go on reducing the uh, bar till you see your hello super sharp like whatever you've written now here this looks good enough i will quickly press next same crop it up till the best extent possible let's say if anything still remains behind then i can erase it but no this seems good enough i'll just press next same auto crop 4k resolution select on the dimensions let's do a 10 mm this time preview yes our focus focus point is already set and i have a lot of space here so i'm going to use this now and quick preview next the file is being transferred again same procedure it takes a few seconds around 7 8 10 seconds i think yeah and then just start confirm quick and it will start marking so after this you will see that it literally prints your own handwriting on the piece of jewelry uh, we will see how to mark inside and on jewelry or inside a ring in the next mode which is the text mode now so we are done with the camera mode too and this is the result now let's go to the most popular mode which is the text mode i'm going back here going on create create mode which is a text mode let me just type in hello here now as you can see there are multiple font options available you can upload your own font also it needs to be in the standard font format which is ttf if i am not wrong i may be wrong but we'll write the right font in the caption and uh, you after so here i've written hello you can you have the option to go hollow on the font this way you can even tilt it you can even print barcodes using this device yes so just enter your numbers and it will generate a barcode and you can print it on your jewelry or any product that you have you can also generate qr codes so whatever text you write will turn into a qr and whenever whoever scans the qr will read a beautiful message that you have typed so you have all these options if you notice the top of the screen there's an option of drawing also so you can either draw something or your client can draw something and you can print that also let's just go with the text option right now now i've written hello i will just simply press this is a good font i like this font i'll just press next auto crop it 4k same enter the dimensions now normally with the machine we will provide you with blue tag or you can buy that in any stationery store blue tag or bow stick it's like a chewing gum which fixes here right here so it is a sticky surface wherein you can put rings or some small items right now i will show this to you with my hand but you can use blue bow stick for greater stability let me just enter dimensions of 5 mm and i will preview this here now i can clearly see there is a small red box which is coming here i will simply place my ring here and tilt it till the red box comes inside the ring as i can see clearly the red box is inside the ring so this is good enough for me now i will just press quit preview try to keep the ring as steady as possible put it put next and then settings are already inside i will just simply press start printing once the file is transferred start confirm and here if you see it start printing so this is how it looks after marking moving on to the last mode the clip art mode this is basically emojis and cute stuff so you can search on some clip art let's say chris christmas search it yeah we have switched off our data so let me just turn that on and then you just press search and then you will get related emojis so let's say whatever clip art is there you can just press next simply like anything else you can print this same exact same procedure so this was uh, the demo of the laser marker m7 if you have any doubts feel free to reach out to us 
As and when we learn about this machine, we will keep uploading new videos. You can follow our YouTube channel and press the subscribe button or the notifications bell icon so that any new video that we upload, you will be informed about it. Thank you so much for watching this video and we are going to keep uploading more videos using this machine. There is also a roller attachment that comes with this machine and that's the next video that we are going to do. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you soon.